Mikhail Kasik is a Slovakian hydrologist engineer who received the Goldman Prize in 1999, the equivalent of the Nobel Prize for Ecology. With a team of experts in several fields, he has rediscovered the principles of climatic balance that are based on the small water cycles. In 2010, Slovakia suffered from a series of disastrous floods. Right away, the government set up with Michael Kravcik and his team the program called Revitalization of Landscapes, financed by the Slovak state and the European community. In the mountains, where the network of streams and rivers is formed, 488 Slovakian municipalities have built more than 100,000 small rainwater retaining structures. Our village is situated in a valley. The water flows from the mountains down into the village and threatens the population. Rainfall gets heavier every year. The rains are more and more intense. They carry away all the ground. Rocks, mud, they take everything in their path. The project has yielded very good results that we observe each time after a new precipitation. During abundant rains, the reflex of the populations is to evacuate the water as quickly and as far as possible. But the streams gather, reinforce, and accelerate. They cause damage on their way and then flood the urbanized plains. Instead, we must slow down and reduce the power of the torrential floods along the basin to ensure people's security. These small barriers built in a cascade of steps into the erosion ditches are turning out to be extremely effective in curbing and containing the floods. They can also retain sediments and fill in excavated and eroded areas. These small dams can also hold back bulkier materials, like tree trunks, that can form plugs under bridges, causing the watercourses to overflow their banks. We haven't done any analysis to identify the best places to act. We have just looked at where the water has damaged the most. From there we started building retention barriers. Our estimates were empirical. Here there is a slope, there is a gap. Where to place a small dam to slow the water? At home, we followed the advice of farmers living with nature, who know where water will overflow during heavy rains. When torrential rains and thunderstorms occur, this street and these houses are flooded up to this height, all around too. We were looking for a solution that did not cost too much. According to the Slovak Water Company, it was necessary to build a large reservoir from 15 to 20 meters high. But it was very complicated for property rights, and above all, it would cost 1 to 1.5 million euros. So we chose a more affordable solution. Norway is being assaulted by increasingly violent rainfall, damaging infrastructures.
a team of experts delegated by the Norwegian state, regularly meets with Mikael Kravsik to adapt and apply the Slovakian solutions in their country. We are here to learn uh, from the Slovakian experiment with using wooden check dams to mitigate flooding. The, this wooden check dams is uh, very simple. In fact, uh, only a couple of people can make them with a chainsaw, arcs, some simple tools, and you use uh, the material you have around you, trees of different types. It's very natural, not uh, pollute, make no pollutions. And it's the simplicity of this uh, system is very, <laughs> very, very interesting. The beauty of this system is that it's so small you have to take over the, each drop of water. So when you take care of each drop of water, you also take care of the problem. And thinking about these small measures instead of big dams, it's probably a change in attitude. Solving the problem of flooding can also solve the drought problems that become critical even in temperate regions. It's still a little new, but it's probably the right choice. Despite this mostly dry season, water continues to flow smoothly. In case of drought, minimal water at least remains here. Otherwise, the riverbed would be totally dried up already. These retention dams still allow water to pass through while retaining rainwater long enough to give it time to soak into the earth. Groundwater can thus be replenished. Dried out streams and rivers are slowly and steadily starting to flow again. <laughs>